What's up guys? Today I'm going to be working with Rust-Oleum paint. I'm going to be painting the fender uh, for my car. I already took it off. It's already sanded with 400 grit uh, right here on the inside as well. Uh, even right here, this, this goes on the inside of the hood, but I still sanded it um, so I can throw some paint as well right there and right here. So everything's ready. I'm just going to go ahead and mix this paint however it says to mix it. This is Rust-Oleum oil based. There's other colors as well but they're all basic colors like red, black, blue, green but no metallics, no nothing like that. So I'm gonna use this. Just reduce it the way it says right there and um, uh, what did I buy for? Mineral spirits to reduce it and just spray it. We'll see how it goes. First coat. This is just to cover up some some of the green, match some of the primer, and just create some tackiness for the second coat. So here we go. As you can tell, it is, not, it is the next morning. Um, all the roosters and quails are going on. The paint uh, came out pretty decent. Had some nice gloss. Uh, right here, it got a little bug. But, where is it? Let me just focus. So, it's a little bug that landed on the paint. But, as you can tell, like the rest of the paint came out pretty decent. I'm still gonna sand it because it does have some orange peel, um, but yeah, it came out pretty decent. So right here, this is where an emblem would go, this one. This one was the same color as the car. So what I did, uh, I just went ahead and sanded right here the face and left some of the paint on the lettering on the inside. So it's just gonna go right here. I know it doesn't match the color, but that's all right. This is plastic anyways. I didn't want to paint it, so it's just gonna go right there. Uh, look, here's some of that uh, orange peel. So that I'm gonna sand it down with the, uh, since it's new paint, I'm gonna try it with 2000 grit, but uh, we'll see uh, how it cuts. If, it, if, if not, I'll just go ahead and use like 1500 or 1000 and just uh, work it down from there. But yeah, so that's it for the paint. Uh, I'm gonna um, just go ahead and install this. So this morning, I had to use the car. So I drove the car like that. Yeah, I didn't even check for clearance right here. All right, guys. So the hood, not the hood, the fender is on. Um, wow. Well, let's just take a step back to look at it. Hmm. Well, the color looks like primer with a little gloss. You know, I'm gonna give it like two, like another day or two. That way, I can come back and wet sand it. Um, so this, I just wanted to try out. This was an experiment. I just want to see um, how good the paint is, 
you know I'm gonna have to drive it like that uh, for a couple days um, so far I like it and I'll tell you why um, the quart of paint is nine dollars and I used about what six ounces right here I mean give or take so I mean with this one quart I could probably do like the you know the whole front end like the hood the other fender and the front bumper um, just reducing it the same way as I did here there are other color options you know uh, as rustoleum but they're all just basic colors no metallics uh, but they have like you know red white they have this um, ivory almond color an almond color I thought that one looked pretty cool too but you know I just wanted it to see if it would work and to match the car the interior did I, did I show you guys the interior it's still a work in progress, but yo, check out that headliner. It came out pretty cool, huh? So this, the fabric I bought it at Walmart. Uh, it was like three dollars and six, three dollars and forty-seven cents a yard. So I bought two yards. So this came out to seven eighty something, seven ninety. Um, two yards, and I used. Right here, this is the adhesive that I used, the Gorilla. Um, I bought this one, there was other ones, but I bought this one because this one said it bonds fabric, paper, and wood, plastic, and whatever. So fabric was one of them, and paper, I ordered, check this out. This is a manga comic book I ordered from eBay. Um, you know, I don't, read these these are just comics and especially this is in Japanese but the previous owner this is a pre-owned copy um, but the pre previous owner like I guess he might have collected or something he sent it well packaged I mean it came in a bubble wrap and then in a uh, what is this a ziplock bag and then in one of those bubble wrap mailers so I mean considering that I'm just thinking of getting a knife and cutting each page I'm gonna cut each page. This is the idea, you know, I'm not 100% sure yet, but right here on the roof, since it's already primered, I was thinking of spraying some of that same adhesive, the Gorilla Glue, and just spray some on top, and just uh, paste the manga pages right here, and then afterwards just go seal it with a coat of clear. But that's an idea, I already, um, already decided on another idea, so that's gonna, wait uh, for something else headliner I like it so I'm thinking of painting the car similar to these colors which we got like the grays or a black uh, and red and we got some white but I don't want to paint the car white I had started right here on this pillar um, to sticker bombing but I decided not to I'm gonna go ahead and take these stickers off well one because either I forgot to wipe down the pillar the the little pod plastic thing uh it might have had some armor on because some of the stickers are peeling um and another thing is because the roof is already colorful enough i don't want the pillars to be colorful um i had also started right here you see these stickers uh on the mirror i had sticker bomb that that mirror right there sorry so, yeah, I'm not liking those sticker bomb right there. This is the first time ever trying to sticker bomb something. And, you know, it might come out pretty cool on something else. But considering the heat and the armor all maybe, like, a bunch of little things in between. So, I'm just going to go ahead and take those off. Not today, though. But I'm, I'm going to take those stickers off. And I'm thinking of painting the pillars red. I don't know. Just red. <laughs> so, we'll see. And for the outside, if I go through with the idea, I'm thinking of just... Alright, sorry about that, my phone rang. Anyways, so the idea that I was thinking for the exterior, if I go through with it, I'm thinking of just painting the entire car with Rust-Oleum. Uh, this smoke gray, just painting the entire car. And then afterwards, since the interior headliner has some black, some grays and blacks and red, so what I'm thinking is... Uh, right here the roof. I'm not gonna go f uh, with the manga comic uh, Manga bombing or whatever. Uh, I was just thinking either painting this either a matte black or a gloss black Gloss 
black for a more sealed finish but we'll see just black rooftop the entire car this gray and this little rain rail rain guard or whatever this since it starts from the front it goes across the roof all the way to the very back this little line I'm thinking of uh, painting it red this I might just plastic dip but it's gonna be plastic dipped red and also these F1 mirrors that I show you guys these mirrors they're dirty as fuck I just installed them what two days ago maybe uh, I think I put some pictures on Instagram but I didn't do a video of them I mean I thought it was just a short video uh, actually not that short because these were some type of universal so I had to trim some part of the plastic right here with the grinder and all that stuff so right here let's see if I can show you focus so right here I had to cut out this little edge right there and then since the plastic is a little angled right here you can see some of the metal exposed from the frame so and it's a little bit smaller as well so I mean I had to custom fabricate those brackets on the back to not fabricate but like modify the brackets on the back so they can fit the car but you know I like that mirror it's also going to be painted Plasti Dip Red um, along with the rain rail thing and I don't know man I'm thinking spontaneous something different I'm thinking of the wheels red also so in red is just the wheels the mirrors and the rail gray the entire car and black just the roof you'll see it once it's done I know it's hard to imagine uh, something like that but you know just thinking outside the box something different um, for now that's it uh, thank you guys so much for watching I hope you you like the headliner the headliner you know I spent somewhere between under 15 bucks I'll say under 15 bucks because it's seven dollars for the fabric and then you know another four or five dollars for the glue something like that but that was two two yards that I used for the fabric sugar bombs that I'm gonna remove I didn't like uh, paint the pillars on the inside red as well maybe with plastic dip we'll see how it goes the mirrors and all that stuff so that is it guys thank you so much for watching uh let, leave me some comments i like comments i like reading through them um share some ideas i know somebody um suggested i use plastic dip for the entire car but a gallon of plastic dip costs around 80 to 90 dollars and you know like that's not that i've been looking but i've you know like skimmed and i saw the price so like 80 to 90 dollars for a gallon and i haven't used it so rustoleum you know it's nine dollars a quart if i paint the car the same way i'm going with maybe three quarts i'll be done and you know maybe some uh, mineral spirits like i think one quart maybe yeah one quart would do so average you'll spend under 50 dollars for an entire car so you know even if you change colors but that's it guys all right that's it uh thank you so much for watching subscribe like the video share it if you can and i'll see you in my next one peace out